in trouble. Hit him. Sack. Back outside the 45-yard line. Romeo Okora got him. And he had nowhere to go. Trubisky hit. Knocked the ball free on the ground. The ball is free. With punch away and blocked it again. They got another block. Romeo Okora blocked that one. Gonna get sacked. Back inside the 50-yard line. He is sacked in there by Romeo Okwara. Hit. Gonna go down. Sacked. Romeo Okwara got him. Our next guest, fresh off a career year in the Motor City, one of three defensive ends with at least one sack in nine or more games. Please welcome to the virtual breakfast table, of course, coming to us, uh, I think, from somewhere on the East Coast, pride of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, of course, Detroit Lion Romeo Okwara. Yo. How you doing? How you doing? How's it going? So happy to have you. We're so great, and we're glad to have you. You were coming off a career year. We were talking about it in a commercial break earlier. Ten sacks, three forced fumbles. What was the mindset? What went so right for you last season, and how do you up your game here in 2021? Yeah, I think with last year, especially with the year um, that we had, um, I just wanted to go with the mindset to have fun. I was talking my brother on the team. I uh, had a lot of goals to accomplish. Um, so I just wanted to the mindset to have fun and just enjoy it. Romeo, good to see you, my man, and, and thanks for joining us this morning. Listen, I, I just want to talk about the, the new culture that you guys are trying to build there in Detroit. And obviously, Dan yeah. Campbell has already given us some great sound clips, some sound bites, um, and he's everybody's favorite guy in the league right now. He's ready to run through a brick wall and bite some kneecaps. I'm sure you guys are going to have a lot of fun with, with some of his sayings. But my question is, have you talked to him? Has it been virtually, in person? Um, have you guys had any kind of discussions with Dan about what he's expecting from you as players? Yeah, we had a couple of text message exchanges, uh, lots of uh, where for our thoughts early in the free agency process. Uh, but, yeah, like you said, he's ready to go, ready to buy some decaps off, uh, whatever, whatever you want to think. Um, but we're all fired up to be back in the building and take on this new year. Uh, we're all very excited. Um, lots of changes, uh, lots of change, uh, changing within the uh, organization. Um, but all, we're all just ready to get back together and uh, uh, meld with our teammates and just get back into another season. Romeo, your younger brother Julian is also your teammate there in Detroit. We hear he was instrumental um, in you re signing with the Lions. Um, you called it a no brainer, right? What's the best thing about playing with your brother? I mean, I obviously get to wake up every day. He lives right next door to me. Uh, we drive to practice up every morning together, so we get to talk and, like, kind of um, enjoy that bond, create that bond uh, together. We never got to play in college or high school together, so this is the first time on the playing field. Um, so just wanted to embrace that experience and uh, just be there uh, for as much as I can. Yeah, man, but you know how it is dealing with family, man. My brother gets on my nerves sometimes, okay? Let's just keep it real, all right? You guys ever butt heads or anything like that? Like, what's the most annoying thing about playing with your brother, Julian? Um, there's, definitely, there's definitely moments, naturally, like you were saying. Uh, siblings definitely uh, tend to butt heads, uh, but we get along for the most part. Uh, those morning rides can be quiet sometimes, uh, depending on the mood. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah, 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 we definitely put heads sometimes, especially where, we, where you get to spend all that time together. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're just all thankful uh, to be able to play the game and love together. There it is. That's brotherhood in a nutshell right there. All right, uh, you will have a new coach and new quarterback under center this season. Matt Stafford was leading the way before. Now Jared Goff, the man. Uh, what were your thoughts when the trade went down? I know at the time your future was still kind of a little bit up in the air, but uh, how do you uh, think the offense will look different in 2021? Yeah, I mean, my, Matt was obviously a very important part to uh, defense. Uh, I mean, to offense um, and obviously the Detroit community. And he done a lot, did a lot of great things. And it was definitely sad to see him go, but very excited to see what Jared can do and come off and uh, step up in that leadership position. Uh, I think I played him a couple of times in his career, and I'm just very excited to take on and uh, uh, enjoy him as a teammate and um, uh, see how we do this year. It's a new era, new look there in Detroit. Uh, Romeo, I like your story. You entered the league in 2016. You were undrafted, a free agent uh, out of Notre Dame, and now you're fresh off signing a new deal. You're one of the best pass rushers in the game objectively. With the NFL draft approaching, it's all we're talking about for three hours a day, five days a week. I want you to talk to the guys that might be watching that might not get drafted, but they still want to make a name for themselves. Just speak to those guys for a minute. 
Yeah, I would say, I mean, I, I went through the whole thing sitting there watching uh, guys get chosen in front of you. I watched every single every single round, every single pick uh, get called. Just waiting to hear, hear your name. But I would say carry that same that same feeling you were feeling um, throughout the entire draft and bring it to training camp, OTAs, whatever it is. And every time you got to wake up early and think about how hard it is, think about that moment and what it meant for you and just bring that same energy throughout the entire season. Bro, you got a lot of other passions um, outside of football. Not only are you skilled on the gridiron, but uh, you've done some major stuff with the camera, right? Tell us about your your, your passion for photography, how it got started, and where can we view your work? Yeah, I think it just started, uh, I think, in college. I just want to, I guess, capture the moment and not forget about this very interesting time that we were going through and just documenting family or friends, whatever it is, uh, I enjoy the artistic side of it. And uh, art has always been something I've, I've been very interested in. And uh, just being able to document my family and my life and my friends uh, is something I'm very passionate about. We love it. That's beautiful. Oh, my awesome. goodness. I, can, yeah. can I go there, please? <laughs> it's not oh, Detroit. That is some stunning right? work. Romeo, will you be watching the draft? How do you take in the draft? Your lines are picking there, and that's inside the top ten. I don't know. I don't know. I'm uh, whatever. Whatever the coaches decide, or the upstairs, the back, and all that. Whatever they decide, I'm sure it's going to it's going to help our team. Uh, but looking forward to the season. Uh, very excited to get back at it. Yeah. What's your interaction been like with uh, with Dan Campbell? How would you describe Dan Campbell? <laughs> I would describe him as very like we call it hardworking. He's very. Uh, he has a lot of energy. He does what he wants. And. Um, I got to meet him, I guess, when I, when I first signed personally face to face. We got to talk and sit down about what the different plans we had for the team. But just very excited for everything we got going on in the building. Uh, the atmosphere is, uh, was very different. And um, like I said, he, he had some jokes. They sang a couple of jokes uh, over text message. Um, but at the end of the day, he decided to go play some football. <laughs> Yeah, I think you'll be laughing a lot during the year at Dan Campbell and we'll be entertained here at the breakfast table as well. Wishing you so much luck. Have a beautiful offseason and good luck to your Lions in 2021.